it's fine. So basically, I've uh, kind of tailored this recipe around working on this. Okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, this the idea of this is this is really good fun to cook on. So this morning we did a lamb dish and I put it in the pan. Um, and it didn't come off as well as putting it directly on here. Yeah. And you get a searing kind of heat. Literally 30 seconds on there, you shove it off into the pan, saute it, and, and that's it. So, uh, so we'll get on with that. I'll start searing it off now. Uh, the butter sauce, very simply, um, got a bit of um, lemongrass there, a little bit of garlic, just a lot. Um, I've got some herbs which just pick through the garden. There's some wild sorrel in here, and some chive buds and stuff. We'll finish it with that. Finish with some lime juice, bit of vinegar, a uh, bit of white wine, bring it down, lots of butter, um, and then hopefully we'll uh, split it split over on the side there. So, uh, bone fish. Um, like I said, you buy it on the bone um, because we have terrible or no fish mongers in Britain. Um, it's really difficult to get really good fish, so this is from White Trace. And it's a lot like cooking a piece of meat, actually. Um, because it's very thick, so it needs a lot of uh, resting. So generally, you would rest it about sort of same time as it takes to cook it. So this will take, see it off there, bite through there, probably about eight minutes or so. So then you leave it for about ten minutes, just somewhere warm, and it just loses a lot of a lot of moisture, which is we'll throw that through the water actually. Um, okay, uh, can I just draw back to here a second? Now this. This makes a bit of a mess at the top, but if you're in a hurry, what we used to do in commercial kitchens is on the solid stuff, put a touch of oil and then smash your pan on top and it boils instantly if you're in a bit of a rush. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Uh, don't use your best olive oil. So a bit of olive oil. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly what you do very quickly to, to get things boiling. But all that's doing is putting um, a layer between the base of the pan and the thing so, so the heat goes directly through. So anyway, to make this little sauce, we're going to bring all that liquid down to about sort of a tablespoon, balls off the alcohol, balls off that sort of the harshness of the vinegar, flavours everything. Um, yeah, get that going, and then we'll clean that up before we cook the fish. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to strain that off a little bit later. So we've got about a tablespoon of liquid there. Okay, so in here, uh, stalks and leaves coming down, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of fish stock and butter, right the way down. Sauce, uh, can you see that? Yeah, just sort of melting nicely, um, half of the time. Um, we'll season that in a minute. Right, let's get on with this fish. I'm planning to season it. Interesting, though, I had this chat with the group this morning. Um, we had a fantastic chef on this, this thing I've got a second one. And she's changed the way I season my um, season anything really, but meat especially. And there's, there's an amazing girl, Sammy Nostra, American, Iranian American girl. And she says, so if you're getting a, a joint for Sunday, like a big old kind of little beef or something, as soon as you get it back from the bushes, season it, put it in the fridge. So it's brilliant because usually in your in my mentality and what you learn in you know traditional kind of French cookery and stuff like that, as soon as you season something, it starts to the moisture, but it, it works, it really does work. And so you can actually taste it rather than just doing it. Okay, I'll let's have a look at this one. Oh there you go, it's nice, 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 nice. If you like resting your food, yeah, That's for sure, cool. for sure. Um, yeah, because I mean, especially fish like this, because um, it needs, uh, it's quite it's meaty, it's very dense, and yeah. there's a lot of moisture in here, so it needs time to just relax before you slice it. Because if we took this off now, or when it's cooked, rather, right, and you slice it, it will literally just kind of, you know, you. But you can see, I mean, you get a really good colour if you do it straight on the top, and then we'll give that five minutes and it'll burn. Uh, in the same way as you would with a piece of lamb you know, or whatever. So, yes, put that through there. Uh, the butter sauce, very simply, um, got a bit of um, lemongrass there, a little bit of garlic, just a lot. Um, I've got some herbs which just pick through the garden. There's some wild sorrel in here and some chive buds and stuff. We'll finish it with that. Finish with some lime juice, a bit of vinegar, 
Uh, bit of white wine, bring it down, lots of butter. Um, <laughs> so much easier. When, when I go to <laughs> in the factory, they, when 